Hello, welcome to Blind Pomegranate Tarot. I am Christine. How are you guys today? If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, hi guys. It's always nice to see you. I can't wait to see you every single week. So what are we doing today? We are doing September predictions. I know I missed, uh, what was last month? August. <laughs> but we're going to do September and this should be very, very interesting. Um, when I was shuffling these cards out, and you'll see the shuffle on Sunday, I always video it and upload it. And then later on today, I'm going to upload a little snippet from that. Uh, Spirit was really excited to talk to me, and they were tapping on my chair, and they were pushing my chair, and then I got touched, and I don't like to be touched. So I told them that, no touching. So this should be very interesting because I could tell the energy was super high, and they really had something they wanted to share with us. So... I'm looking forward to it. So this is our September predictions for 2021. So what do we have? We have three piles here today. On pile number one is an incense for astral travel. On pile number two is an incense for divination. And on pile number three is an incense for altar. So when we're doing our readings, I'm going to light those as well. And we'll let those burn. You can see back there my, um, my incense burner. And we'll use that as well. So how can you choose which one is right for you? Well, I'm going to put in a little meditation at the end here that you can use to sit back into your intuition and help you choose. Or you can run the numbers through your head. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and see if any of those pop out. Maybe astral projection, divination, or altar resonates for you. Or maybe there's timestamps down below and you can find a number within the timestamps that mean something to you. Or maybe you're clairvoyant or clairaudient or sentient and you can see uh, auras and this is vibrating or moving one of the piles that will mean something to you that way. Remember, you can't choose wrong. This is a general reading of information to keep an eye out for on, in September. So I think we're going to have some pretty good information here because they really wanted to tell you something really badly. <laughs> so the energy was very, very high for this one. So I'm really interested to see what comes forward. So um, I'm going to put in that meditation right now. Take your time. Take a deep breath. Sit back into your intuition and see what comes forth for you. And I will see you guys at your reading. Bye. Hello, beautiful souls. How are you today? Welcome to Blind Pomegranate Tarot. I am Christine. So if you're new here, welcome. I don't know how you found me, but I am so glad you came. And if you're not new here, welcome back. How are you? I know I missed last week. I'm very, very sorry. But for those of you who know me, you know why. I've been really busy. So what are we doing today? Well, we're going to ask Spirit, what blessings are coming my way? But moreover, we're going to ask them, what can I do to help guide it towards me? Because setting your intentions is incredibly important. It's like putting an arrow in your yard, pointing towards your house. Come this way. This is where you'll find me. So we're going to do both those things. So how can you choose? Well, on pile one, we have this beautiful piece of garnet. I love garnet. Anybody who knows me knows that. It has a little dent in the back, so I use it like a, like a thumbstone when I meditate. I just absolutely love garnet. On pile two, we have a piece of moonstone. This was a, a gift from a friend. I love that too. I'm not sure if you can see that little bit of sparkle there. It's really pretty. And on pile three, we have a little amethyst nugget. And amethyst is absolutely one of my favorite stones. I know a lot of people really love it. It's just a beautiful, fun, loving stone. So, so maybe those uh, will help you choose. If not, take a look at the timestamps down below. Maybe one of the numbers and the timestamps mean something to you. Maybe you're clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient, and you hear something, know something, or feel something. Maybe you can see auras on the cards or on the stones, or maybe it even looks like the cards are vibrating or moving, and that will tell you how. At the end here, I'm going to throw in a meditation that I've recorded. Sit back into your intuition and listen to that. In the end, ask Spirit, you know what, which one of these is right for me? So I will see you guys at your reading and I'm really looking forward to this. I think this is going to be a, a really lovely, lighthearted reading. I think that we could all use that and I'll see you later. I'll see you at your reading. Bye guys. Let's begin. Sit or lay in a comfortable position. 
Now imagine yourself sitting on a dock over the ocean in a comfortable chair, feet dangling in the water. Take a deep breath in through your nose, hold it for two, and out your mouth for three. Now, close your eyes. Starting from the top of your head and working our way down, relax your forehead, relax your eyes, release your jaw, drop your tongue from the top of your mouth, and breathe. Deep breath in and out and relax. We hold most of our tension in our neck and our shoulders, so we're going to release our shoulders and let them drop and breathe. Now, let your arms hang free, soft in your lap, and breathe. Now, focusing on your heart space. Release your chest, breathe softly, and relax. On your stomach, release any tension, and just let go, and relax. Deep breath in, feel your belly rise, and softly and slowly release down. Now your hips, breathe in, relax, and your legs, and your knees, all the way to the bottoms of your feet. Breathe in and out. Remember, peace is your natural state of being. Check during the day, see where you're holding in tension. Release it, breathe in deep, breathe out slowly and relax. Now, sit back into your intuition and ask it, what is right for me? And relax, breathe in, and breathe out slowly. one so you chose astral projection and there we have our incense burning i'm going to put that back over here now i tried to to light it on camera but seriously i almost burned my fingers off i thought you know what that's not worth it <laughs> so we'll put that right there <clears throat> okay so what are we doing we are, are asking for how's our september going to go you have any predictions or anything they'd like to tell us so we're going to start with tarot cards and then we'll move on to some oracle cards so let's start there okay first card you have what's that say four of cups i gotta move the light over sorry guys yes four of cups no four of coins four of coins Hmm. Okay, and then we have the chariot. Okay, the chariot. Hmm. Okay, and then we have ten of wands. Okay. Now, as always, we will get the bigger picture, but let's start here with your tarot cards. <clears throat> okay. Four of Coins often talks about sort of uh, keeping everything to yourself, keeping all of your coins, keeping all of your prosperity to yourself. Okay. It's a little bit of a selfish card. It's a little bit of, a, I'm going to keep it for myself. I'm going to keep everything I have sort of tight to the chest, right? And I'm going to keep it to myself. The chariot, of course, is always about moving forward and moving on, moving in one direction or the other. And then the 10 of wands, 
Ten of Wands sort of talks about the same thing of um, being a little bit selfish, a little bit keeping it to myself, a little bit this is mine and I'm having it and nobody else is. So what does this say? You can see here by the roots of the tree, they look a little bit weird, a little barren, a little bit... Um, the tree is maybe not sharing as it should, right? Okay. But let's get into the, the rest of the cards and let's see what the total story is here. Okay. I'm not calling you selfish. Okay. <laughs> this is just where we're at right now. So the next card we have. This is animal guidance. Trust your instincts. Okay. Trust your instincts. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And then we have from Moonology, we have be bold and make the first move. Okay. Be bold and make the first move. Now that of course goes along with the chariot card, the cardinal moon. Okay. So you could very well be a cardinal sign. Be bold and make the first move. Where are we going spirit? <laughs> Where are we going? All right. Your next card you have Uranus, Uranus. Breakthroughs, brainstorms, originality, insight, awakening, technology, innovation. Okay. So again, Uranus or Uranus, okay, however you choose to say it, is a car, is a planet of growth of, um, well, innovation of moving forward. There is a theme here. How I see it. Okay. And for your final card, you got hmm, endings and beginnings, the eighth house. Okay. Hmm. Endings and beginnings. Eighth house. Let me move everything up here, guys. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So in September, okay, I think a realization is going to come your way of what you have been doing. That kind of aha moment. This is why these things are happening. This is why I am stagnant. This is why I'm not moving forward. Uranus is, or Uranus is all about moving forward and uh, advancement. Okay. And so, of course, is the chariot card. So what this is saying to you is, have you been sort of, I don't want to say being selfish. Okay, guys. I want to say, have you been holding back from sharing your abundance? Have you been holding back from choosing which direction you're going to go into? Have you been holding back giving to others, giving of yourself to others? Because, well, that I think you'll have to fill in the, the blanks yourself on. But there is definitely something that you've been holding back. And in September, you're going to be releasing that. You're going to choose a direction and you're going to run with it. You're going to open up to someone or something and move forward. Okay. You're going to stop blocking others from your life and yourself from your, um, expansion. Okay. This is what they're asking you to do. This is what they're saying for you for September. In September, they want you to let go. Okay. I can see here that you're holding on to something really tightly. Okay. And you're keeping it very close to you. I'm not going to share this. I'm not going to give this to anyone. This is for me and me alone. But the problem with that is, okay, is that you can't grow if you're holding it all inside all the time, okay? To expand, you must release. To expand, you must choose a direction and go to it, okay? So I think what they're just telling you for September is be bold. Be bold and move forward. Be bold and take the first step. Be bold and release whatever it is that you've been holding inside. Release whatever it is that you've been keeping to yourself. Release whatever it is that you're holding so tightly, right, that nobody can get to it and you can't pick a direction to go in, okay? The chariot card is in the middle here. It's in the middle of these two very 
I'm keeping this to myself. This is for me and me alone, and I'm not going to give it to anyone. <clears throat> in the middle is the chariot card. And over and over again here in your oracle cards, they're telling you to move forward, move on, keep going. OK, so I think in September, you're going to break away from that pattern of uh, keeping everything to yourself and being stagnant. And what they're asking you and telling you how you can do that is start to share more. Now, is that share your money? No, for some of you, it might be. But it's more about sharing yourself and rooting yourself, OK, in something stable. OK, rooting yourself in something that is equal and balanced and sharing and giving. OK, you can only receive if you give. All right. The, what is that saying? Uh, that you 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 uh, receive more from giving. OK, than you ever do from getting. Right. So if you're getting and you're keeping it to yourself or you have something or an idea or something that, that you've been holding on to so tightly, I can see this here. Right. I can see this here that you are holding on to something so incredibly tightly that it's kind of strangulating it. Right. The roots are dying. OK. So in September, you're going to have kind of an aha moment of, OK, this month I'm going to work on pushing myself away from that, pushing myself out of those boundaries, pushing that I have put up myself, pushing myself through them, start to share more of who I am and what I am and give more of what I have. And then I can receive more. I'm going to pick a direction this month and I'm going to be bold, right? And go for it. Move on to it. Be a part of it. Be back into the world again. Start sharing and making new adventures in my life instead of sort of sitting within your own cocoon and saving yourself for yourself's sake. Okay. Because that is not going to work for you. Now keep an eye out for the number 32. That could be very prominent in your month. Okay. So if you see the number 32 repeating to you somehow, that's them giving you messages. That's the information of now's the time. Share what you have, share what you know, share what you've got, share what you've been hoarding. Okay. In nature, you see, we're looking at this 10 of wands here in nature. Nothing hoards. Nature does not hoard. It only shares, right? An apple tree doesn't say, you know what? I'm going to keep my apples to myself this year and I'm not going to give you any. <laughs> okay. Or the leaves don't say, well, this year I don't feel like it. So I'm not going to change to the beautiful colors of orange and red and yellow during the fall. They just do it. They just give it. They just do not hoard. Okay. They just share it because that's the beauty of nature. And that is in our DNA. That is who we are. That is what we are meant to do is to share amongst each other. Okay. So if you have something that you've been holding back, if you have something that you have not been sharing with the world that you need to, it's time to move forward and do that. Because I see here you being very prosperous in whatever this is. Once you do, once you choose to share what you've been holding to yourself, you will bloom from that. I promise that is definitely the message here for you guys today. So what we're going to do, we are going to pull one of my favorite little affirmation cards and let's see what, let's see what we get. I'm going to do it right here on camera and I'm going to try and do it without throwing cards everywhere because this, oops, because this reading, this shuffle for this reading was just crazy. So um, do, if you get a chance on Sunday, take the time to, to see it. You can see how far the cards were flying just absolutely everywhere. So let's see what they have to add to this. I think that September is definitely a month of expansion for you. So that's pretty cool. Oh, no, that's two. And, um, but you have to choose to do that. You have to choose to let go of whatever it is that you've been holding on to. Because I see very clearly that you guys have been holding on to something. Ooh, even strangulating it a little bit. Okay. Killing the roots because you're holding on so tight. Okay. I'm going to go with that one. Let's see what that says. <clears throat> Let's turn it around here. Then we can all see it. <laughs> okay. It says relax. Ah, relax and let go. How many times have you been told that in your life? I know I have. Relax and let go. Let's see. It says, Delight in the powdered gold 
sunshine the light and the powdered gold sunshine oh that's pretty i love that one relax okay don't hold on so tight it's unnecessary it doesn't just strangle the roots around you it strangles your own roots okay let go this month they want you to move forward and just release and relax and let go okay so keep that in mind all month and let me know if you uh if that kind of aha moment comes to you because i think it will i think it very much will and you'll see something that you've been doing to yourself really you've been doing it to yourself that you can let go of and that you can release finally something you've been holding on to for a long long time it will do your soul good i promise Okay, hope I get to see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. I'd like to thank Spirit for joining us as well. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hello, Group 2. Welcome to your reading. So you chose divination, and I've already lit the uh, incense, so it's burning there. I tried to do that on camera. and nearly burned my fingers off, so <laughs> we're going to stick with this so that we don't have any accidents. <laughs> So what do we have? We are starting with three tarot cards and we are doing your September predictions. Now, this is going to be an overall energy for September. Okay. Uh, maybe specifics will come out, but this will be an overall energy of how your month is going to turn for you and what growth you are going to get from that. And look, I knocked over my little pomegranate and put that back. There you go. And what we can learn from that, what we can grow from that, or maybe just what we need to keep an eye out for what's coming our way. Okay. So let's start with our tarot and then we've got some Oracle as well. And you can see the shuffle on Sunday because this was a really interesting one. Spirit really had something to say. So let's see what our first card is. Okay. Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. Whenever I see the King of Swords, I always say Stern Dad. And when I see the Queen of Swords, I always say Stern Mom, okay? She's tough love, okay? So let's see what we have to go with her. Okay, the High Priestess. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And finally, we have... Okay. Yes, the Nine of Swords in reverse. Lots of swords and the High Priestess. My goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, right away, I feel that you are going to be standing up. Woo, you are going to stand up in your own power this month. My goodness. You are going to be speaking your truth. You're going to be standing up for yourself. And when that happens... You're going to have a whole new perspective on life, a lot of hope coming your way, a lot of, yes, everything is going just as I want it to. I finally spoke out for myself. I stood up in my own strong, divine, feminine power, and I did it, and everything is working out. Boy, oh boy, you are going to be that person. You are going to be that person who says, nope, you can't treat me like that. No, you can't talk to me like that. Yes, I know what I'm doing. And yes, I will do it for myself. Yes, I am smart enough. Yes, I am good enough. Yes, I have my intuition. I know it's right. And I'm going to listen to me for once. My goodness, sorry. That was that was a, a rant of a, a me channeling you guys. You are really going to speak your truth this month. So keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Not that you need to. It's going to it's gonna pour out of you when it happens. I really feel that strongly. You have the Queen of Swords. You have the High Priestess. And you have the Nine in reverse, which means the Nine of Swords. Lots of swords. My goodness. This is you talking your truth and it all coming the right way. It all happening just as you always imagined it should and it would. Okay. You're going to divine this for yourself this month. That's why you pick the divination because you're going to divine this for yourself. You have this coming to you. You have the right to this. You have the right to speak your truth. And when it happens, when it comes, it's going to just pour out of you. And when it does, you're going to have a whole new hope for the future, a whole new vision of how the future is going to go because you spoke up for yourself and you're like, that felt really good. And I'm going to keep doing that. Very very 
Cool. I love that. Okay. This is why. <laughs> okay. I spoke about it at the intro. Spirit was really the energy when I was uh, doing the shuffle was really high. And right as I'm doing your cards, okay, right as I'm doing uh, pile two and I'm pulling out one of these oracle cards, I got touched. And you can hear me in the shuffle and I will share it uh, going, no, 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 <laughs> no touching because <laughs> I don't like to be touched. But I, I knew something was up. I just knew it. And so that energy makes perfect sense for this because it's, it's tell them, hurry, tell them, hurry, tell them that they need to stand up for themselves. And when they do, they're going to get exactly what they want. I love that. Okay, so let's see what your Oracle cards say because uh, I think it was, which card was it? Oh, not yet. I'll show you which one when we get there, okay? So you got, <clears throat> what does that say? Medicine Guidance, okay. It says, be open to healing information be open to healing information okay so you may be getting some share from somebody who will help you to do this okay who will help you to to take this and open just crack open whatever it is that you need to say okay um so be open to it listen to uh your world around you you may get some uh, sort of a shot of inspiration to get you going on this path okay and then from Moonology, we got, <laughs> okay, a new romantic cycle begins, new moon. Okay, so for some of you, that may very well be you speaking up to either a current partner, okay, and saying, I'm not taking this anymore and I'm on my way out, or let's talk about this. This needs to be resolved and I'm going to stand up in my own power from here on out and this is how I want things to be, okay? And it will start a new cycle between you two. Or you may be coming up and you have someone that you want to talk to, okay? And you're going to find your strength. You're going to find your queen of swords from the inside and go, you, <laughs> let's talk. I have feelings for you. Or right, come on, let's go out. Let's meet. Let's talk. Let's be one. I have this feeling that we are right for each other. So it could be um, all of those things are uh, for some of you very much so, okay? That's interesting. <laughs> I usually don't. I don't do... Um, I say this a million times, but I don't do love readings, but every now and then it pops up and you can't help it. Oh, okay. Now this is the card, the sun. This is the card in which I got touched on the back of the neck. This is the one that came out just after it. This is what they're trying to tell you. Oh my goodness. Okay. You got the sun and it says being, let me read it to you. Okay. It says essence, energy. Self-awareness, self-awareness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Life force, that's you. Spirit, creativity, honor. Oh, masculinity. You may be touching into your masculine side as well as your feminine side for good for you. Okay. Uh, distinction. Uh, childish ego. Okay. We want to stay away from that individuality individuality and solitude oh my goodness expression and self-sufficiency oh my goodness <laughs> shine and heartbeat oh and father wow <laughs> Okay, so that's a confirmation of you standing up for yourself, you speaking your truth, you being you, you being you. <laughs> I love that. I love that. No wonder that was happening. They really had something to tell you. And then your last card. You got, let me turn it around here. Ah, Libra, balance. I am a Libra. We are almost to Libra season. One more month. Anybody else a Libra? Let me know. <laughs> so Libra, balance. Okay. So that's a little bit of um, when you're doing this and standing up for yourself and speaking up for yourself, okay, that they want you to stay in balance when you're doing it. Don't swing one way or the other too far, okay? Because the Queen of Swords can be very um, 
cutting and straightforward and, and, and no nonsense. And, you know, like I said, stern mom, right? <laughs> okay. And so with Libra, be in balance of that, be in balance of this, but absolutely do it. Go for it. I can see it. You guys are going to do that this month. You're a gum oh boy. Are you going to stand up for yourself and speak your truth? That is absolutely what they want you to know. That's absolutely what you're going to do. So keep an eye out for that for certain. We have the number, is that 19? Let me double check. Yes, number 19. So maybe look for this right happening right around the 19th of the month. Okay. And um, uh, before or just after or during the 19th of the month, uh, keep an eye out for that sort of shift in you and shift in your world and shift in your vibration right around the 19th of the month. Okay. If this is a, a romantic gesture of saying, I'm not going to take this anymore. This is how I want things to be. Or, hey, you, <laughs> I know I want that you and I are right for each other. Let's talk that sort of thing. You are definitely going to have that sort of self-esteem as the card says, and that sort of, um, knowing yourself, a, a well awareness, self-awareness of who you are. And it's just going to kind of come in like a cutting bolt, right? And it's just going to slice right into your world. And you're just going to be like, yes, this is who I am. I am going to speak it now and I'm not going to hold back anymore. That's interesting because group one was sort of the same way. Wow. Okay. So there's definitely a general message for September so far this month is, um, that you're going to divine, right? What you've got coming to you, what you, who you are, and you're going to speak your truth. And, and when you do, it's going to be hopeful and beautiful and exactly what you wanted it to be. And you're going to be self-aware. That's wonderful. Yeah, definitely. That's for sure. And this is the sun card. Spirit said, you be you. And here you go. This is us telling you it's time for you to be you and speak your truth. That is what is going to happen for you in September. That is your general energy for September is you speaking out for yourself in every situation. And when it happens, you're going to be like, why didn't I do this sooner? Because everybody is finally going, oh yeah, you're right. You do. You do have the right to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can <laughs> for sure. Okay. That's a little bit of love on the side there somehow, maybe fixing relationships or starting anew. Maybe that's what you need. That'll be truth for, for some of you, for a few of you. Okay. Well, that was very interesting. Now I know why they were so excited to talk to you about this is because they see you standing up in your own truth, in both your masculine and feminine. There's the balance. Okay. So stay in balance when it comes to this. Use both your masculine and feminine side. We all have that within us. Okay. So I thank you so much for joining me. I hope I get to see you again next time. I want to thank spirit for joining us as well. Beautiful spirit. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Take care. Have a great September. Bye guys. Hello, group three. Welcome to your reading. How are you guys today? So you chose altar and I have already begun to, I've lit the, the, uh, incense for you. Uh, I tried to do it on camera and nearly burned myself. So <laughs> we're not going to take that risk. Okay. So we have tarot cards first, and then we have some Oracle cards and I'm going to pull on camera, which I forgot to do for group two. Don't tell them. Um, <laughs> I forgot to do for them. We're going to pull a, a affirmation and we'll see what that has to say as well. Okay. So let's start with your tarot and then we'll work our way through. As we know, there's always a bigger picture, right? Right. So for your first card, you have, ah, the hanged man. Okay. The second card we have the ace of swords. Okay. And for our last card, we have ah, the 10 of coins. Okay. So remember what we're doing here is September predictions for your overall energy for September. It's very difficult to do a uh, group reading, right? And get specifics. So uh, depending on which pile you choose, you're going to get the overall energy for your September. Or maybe some things to keep an eye out for. Okay. And keep a heads up for. So you have the hangman, new perspective, okay? A new perspective is going to show itself to you, or you are going to have a new perspective on something, okay? And then we have, did I put these in the right order? I did, okay. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Again, new, new energy coming your way, a new thought, a new creative, something is coming your way, a new awareness, a new uh, energetic uh, growth is coming your way. Lack of a better term. So new and new, very, very interesting. And then we have the 10 of coins, which is uh, financial abundance. Okay. So 
Uh, let's go on to your Oracle cards and see what else it has to say. Maybe that will tell us a little bit more in detail about this. Okay, but definitely something new is coming your way. That is for sure. Okay, so we have Elder. Hmm. Move beyond ancestral. Oh, move beyond ancestral patterns. Move beyond ancestral patterns. So maybe that's what you're doing. Right? You're breaking away from the old and moving into the new and, and starting your own path. Oh my goodness. You know what? <laughs> that has been the theme of the whole day is, is doing things your way. Doing it your way has been the theme for all of these groups today. Very interesting. Okay, so let's move on and I'll keep going with the cards and we'll see where else we go to. For Moonology, we have Meditate and Contemplate New Moon in Pisces. Meditate and Contemplate New Moon in Pisces. Okay, maybe, well, and the Hangman can also talk about reflecting on the past, reflecting on where you've come from and where you're headed to. So maybe you need to reflect upon where you've been in order to move forward in this new adventure that you're going on and this new path that you're going down. This could be about a new job. That is for sure. This could be about a change in, in job and something new coming your way that will bring you more and greater prosperity. And you are reflecting back on why didn't I do this sooner? That sort of thing. Okay. So that's very cool. And then we have Taurus. Hmm. Taurus. Well, let me read it to you, okay? <clears throat> Where does this go? It says, Earthry, earthly, <laughs> practical, steadfast, productive, fertility, or fertile, which of course uh, brings in new growth, right? Fertile growth. Okay. Tactile, worthy, ripe, pleasure, pleasure seeking, excuse me. Sensuous. Ah, okay. Tenacious, loyal, patient, and deliberate. Okay, very interesting. Yeah. Okay, wait, let's let's get to the last one here because I, I, I am feeling something, but I want to get a little confirmation from your last card here, okay? And your last card is Virgo. Analyze. Mm, okay. So that's interesting that you have sort of that analytical looking back, thinking back, um, Reevaluating where you've been and where you're going. Um, that new and positive energy is coming your way, that you're going to be doing this for yourself. That is very interesting because each and every one of these groups has been about uh, creating uh, your own path and growing yourself in your own path in September, especially with the Virgo card. Very interesting. Okay. So um, meditate and contemplate the hanged man. You'll be looking back right, on what you've done. You'll be moving forward quickly with determination, right, with passion, with with a knowing that you can do it, knowing that you are strong in this. So something new is definitely coming your way, something new that you create for yourself. This is not something that somebody's going to be giving to you. This is something you are going to create for yourself. This is something that you're going to bring into your own life. This is something that you are going to um grow up, glow up, right? In your own life, you're, and you're going to look back and you're going to say, why didn't I do this sooner? Yes, I could do this. Why didn't I have more confidence in myself before now? But hey, look what I did. I've got my 10 coins. Okay. I'm very prosperous in this. So I think that if you are looking towards um, getting a new job or starting a new position or starting a new business or some kind of a venture in that direction that September is going to be your month. Okay. September is going to, everything's going to sort of fall in line for you to be able to do those things. And you're going to be your, your, uh, um, creativity is going to be very juicy this month. <laughs> I was trying not to use the word juicy, but there it is. Okay. It came out. So, uh, this is definitely your month for that in September, I think that you're going to really sort of glow up with whatever it is that, that you've been wanting to do. Something new is absolutely coming to you quickly, but it is going to be of your own creating. And that is 
definitely the message for this entire reading is that everybody's doing for themselves. I love that. Everybody is creating for themselves. Nobody is giving them anything. They're speaking up for themselves and everybody's going out and getting what they want for themselves because they're having a collective recognition Okay, we are all apparently doing this. We're having a collective recognition that you can do for yourself, that you can be for yourself, that you can create for yourself and you don't need anyone to help you to do that. That that strength has always been within you. And this month, for you for sure, you've got something that you're going to do for yourself that is going to be very, very prosperous. And you're going to look back on it and say, look at what I did. Look at how far I came. Look at what I accomplished. And just be really proud of yourself. And you deserve to be proud of yourself. That's beautiful. I love it. Wow. Very cool, you guys. I, it's very, very interesting that all of the messages sort of, they were a little bit different. Okay. But they all had that underlying message of in September, everybody's going to be doing for themselves and being very, very proud of themselves for doing that. And then moreover, being very successful in it. I loved that. I hope you guys did too. I hope I get to see you next time. I'd like to thank Spirit and you for joining us today and um, have a fantastic September. I think you will though. I don't need to tell you that. Bye guys.